guys, just before today's video, I just want to do a announcement. Today marks the anniversary of the passing of the club hero, Jack Walker, who passed away on the 17th of August 2000. Today we celebrate 19 years of him no longer being with us. Um, so this video is dedicated to him. And yeah, rest in peace, Jack. We miss you. Yeah, see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another Blackburn video up on the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on it. So today we are back down at Ewood Park to face Middlesbrough. Now, of course, a few match points against both sides, of course. It is only the second game of the season, so we're not too concerned, but let's go anyway. So, of course, Rovers are yet to get any points on the board and we sit in 24th place, losing two, winning none and drawing none. Of course, we got the cup game uh, the other day where we won 3-2 as well. So the results haven't gone our way. Of course, the first home game of the season, we lost 2-1 to newly promoted Charlton. And then, of course, we lost 2-0 to Fulham, who had just been uh, relegated from the Premiership. So at the moment, our goal tally at the moment are goals for are one and goals against are four. Now, Middlesbrough, who are the visitors, of course, they have got one point on the board and sit in 18th place. They've lost one, won none, and drawn one. And, of course, they lost midweek in the cup game, um, losing 4-2 on penalties. Now, their two games that they have played, they've got a draw at Luton, um, which was a 3-3 draw. And then, of course, they lost 1-0 away or at home to Brentford. And of course, again, their goal tally are goals for, which are three, and then goals against are four. So they're very much in a similar position to Blackburn, apart from they have only scored two more goals than what we have. So I think it'll be a really, really tough game down at Ewell Park. Both sides are going to be scrapping for that win and get them points on the board. Hopefully we can do it, um, but I really feel... Today is going to make the season, if you know what I mean. I think it's only two games in, but we're struggling. I think we need to look at that defence. I think Mowbray needs to look at it. And we need to get the squad together before a game and put the players in the right damn positions that they play in and have that team that can gel properly. And that is what we are missing out on at the start of this season. So hopefully, book up our ideas and let's just see what happens at today's game. For me, I really feel it's going to be one of them games where it's going to be a bit scrappy, um, it's going to be a bit feisty. So I think I'm going to go for a 1-0 win either side, I think. Hopefully it'll be Blackburn, but of course Middlesbrough come with, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just going to go for a 1-0 win for either side. So let's go down to Uber Park and I shall see you guys in a little bit for Team New. So enjoy the vlog. If you do, then please smash that like button. Don't forget to comment down below. And yeah, subscribe if you are new. And a massive thank you to everybody for all the support over the summer. And yeah, let's head down to Uber Park. Enjoy the vlog and I'll see you guys later. guys second home game of the season and there is the team news has just been announced so we are going Walton Ingle, Bennett who captain Sasai, Lenny Hearn, Williams, Cunningham, Travis, Johnson, Downing, Dak, 
Gallagher and Graham, that is the starting 11. And then on the bench, of course, is the goalkeeper, Luce Weiler. Then we have Nyambi, Bell, Buckley, Evans, Rothwell and Armstrong. And that is how Rovers are lining up against Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough's side, first 11 is Randolph, Jig Steele, Ayala, Shotton, Friend, Howson, Wing, McNair, Johnson, Fletcher, Asombalonga. And the subs are Pears, Bowler, Clayton, Saville, Tavernier, Brown and Walker. And that is how the two sides are going. So we're going to do a quick score prediction on seeing the team news. So on. I'm going to say a 1-0 win. A scrappy 1-0 win. 2-1 to Rovers. You're going to go 2-1. 2-1. Come on, you Blues. Let's get inside. Blackburn Rovers fans a massive massive three points for the boys and of course that 1-0 win and a clean sheet so I'm gonna head over to my dad quickly for his thoughts and then I will give you mine so dad it is over to you very good three points went back to how we used to play a little bit last year a bit more direct fully enough got us the win strange that isn't it when you put Graham back in the side he was brilliant, Danny Graham, does what he does well, mixed it up, we played a bit of football, a few long balls, mixed it up. We don't need to get passing all the time, we need to play 
to our strengths and our strength is getting up and around Danny Graham and taking advantage of those situations. I thought we did all right first half, we edged the first half. Middlesbrough apart from the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I didn't really cut, think cause us too many problems. Yeah. We could have been a couple ahead. The second half was different, they improved and we went a little bit more defensive than I was happy with really but in the end we got the points, that's all that mattered apart from hitting the post, I can't remember anything else they had. Uh, Cunningham at the full back, there's no doubt about it. He's an upgrade on Bell, he does everything pretty well. No histrionics, no silly mistakes, he just does it well. Uh, Gallagher played well I thought out on the, uh, out on the right. Won most of the balls in the air, flick-ons, worked hard, wasn't a central threat but did well and uh, I think overall, including the centre-backs, were pretty solid throughout. Good win and we needed it. Yeah, so yeah, I've got to agree with my dad there, we went back to basics and I think that's the way Mowbray wanted us to play today. Of course, a clean sheet as well, which is the main important thing, but I have to say, Lewis Travis is an absolute sensation, yeah. he has got to start every single game. As long as you keep him fit, he will cause havoc down that side and he Center. looks absolutely an absolute inspiration coming from the under 23s to the first team is a must play player so yeah so i'm really really happy with today's performance of course a massive massive well done to all the blackburn supporters in the blackburn end absolutely amazing today 14,000 sounded like a 20,000 gate absolutely superb and of course to win on what was Jack Walker's 19th anniversary was superb. So that one was for you, Uncle Jack. And I shall see you guys in my next Blackman video very shortly. Of course, don't forget to drop a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe as well. And it's goodbye from me. Bye. Bye, guys.